Ah, nice and quiet. Offline mode, huh? Alright, so since the last time I played this game, I actually played a little bit offline. I grinded for some tears. It actually was really fast. I had to kill the Red Drake, I think, four times. And then the Wyvern I had to kill once, and it dropped two Wyvern tears. So now I've got all three of them. Worm's tier, Drake's tier, Wyvern's tier. And you know what time it is now. It's time to level up. So, I want to beat the game on hard mode. But I also want to do all of Bitter Black Isle. And I it's easier to do the Bitter Black Isle grinding if you do it on like normal or easy. But... Um... I can probably already do it on hard as a sorcerer. I'm going to need a la last few level ups. Wow, Mike Tyson? He would say that. So that checks out, actually. You probably are Mike Tyson. Um, I'm like, I gained some levels. It didn't take very long at all. I just hopped into the Everfall with um, the Blessed Flower. And actually, I'm going to hop into the Everfall again with the Blessed Flower again. And we're going to grab a couple level ups. I don't Warhammer. Alright, so I can already do the best grinding method in the game for both uh, money and experience, which is the offline Ur Dragon. So I'm going to hop down there and say hi to him. I don't have the best gear in the game, I wish I did. Unfortunately, it's all in um, Bitter Black Isle. It's fairly quick to get the uh, the best blue gear. And that's because they were extremely stupid when they decided what weapons were what types. And so it takes forever to get your yellow shit, but the blue shit you get easily. Oh, I also grinded Discipline. If you look at my equips, I have uh, this armor, the Ashura armor. It boosts the amount of Discipline earned. It's like two times Discipline if you're wearing it. And then I also hopped to Bitter Black for like two seconds. Extra stuff is going pretty well. And I grabbed um, the Ring of Perseverance. What I should have done was grab two of these right at the start of the game. You can stack stack two of them. You just restart the game, and then you get to that one room where you, this exists, which doesn't take very much effort. You can do it at level one. You can just ignore all enemies. Uh, and then restart the game, and then get this ring again, and then restart the game again. You can actually new game plus at any moment by changing difficulty. So um, you just change it to easy, and then go to the main menu and do hard mode. And then after you start hard mode, you can just change it to easy again. And you can just use that to new game plus. Anyway, uh, let's go say hi to the Ur-Dragon. I don't remember if the Ur-Dragon can, like, decay your stuff. Certain enemies can decay items in your inventory, but I don't know which ones they are. They might all be zombies and shit, but the Ur-Dragon is kind of a zombie. I've never, ever killed the online Ur-Dragon, and that's a bit sad. We're a cool sorcerer right now. Anyway, with all this discipline gear, uh, I did that idling strat where you just kind of go up to the top of um, uh, Grand Soren, and then I got an, a massive amount of discipline without even playing the game. How's that guy alive? Now we wait patiently here for the Ur Dragon to notice me. Notice me, Dragon Senpai. My pawn has mastered all jobs. There he is. The Air Dragon dies when every uh, heart on its body has been destroyed. It has a lot of hearts. Well, I just replaced my good Holy Affinity with a bad one. There he is. Uh, Holy Focus Bolt is strong against this guy. Woo! That lagged my computer. He's also a little bit of an idiot, which actually makes him a fairly easy boss. Oh, I'm standing on the blue thing. I forgot you could do this. That's going to be a big feature of um, uh, Dragon Sagma 2, supposedly. Jesus! My poor, my poor guy. The Holy Focus Bolts do, in fact, uh, target the hearts. He can have hearts in a lot of different spots. I'm basically stunlocking him right now, and my pawns aren't aren't hurting either.
Kind of surprised I haven't, like, reeled him or anything. Okay, he's spitting fire. Oh, shit. I thought he was right about to breathe breathe decay on me. But now he's still doing his old soft lock thing. Wrist unlock. Pretty exciting fight, right? I should have a bunch of yellows, actually. Alright, he's in the process of dying. He takes a lot of bonus damage when he's doing this. All enemies do stuff like this. Uh, I say as I completely miss it. My pawns are not really participating that much. But whatever. Now is a pretty good opportunity to uh, Holy Affinity again. I could have hit him with a um, size him if I wanted to. But it's whatever. He's doing a flappy thing. His flap is the strongest flap of all dragons. Whew. So he has Grigori's like attacks. He doesn't do them that often though. Oops. He's casting a spell. Looks like it could be bull. I don't know. Let's not wait to find out. Because I'm above the damage threshold with this attack, the fact that I can just reel him infinitely is pretty busted. I feel like I should tell some stories about my fucking x-ray, how it's been going lately. Today, I had a patient where we got him into the... Oh, he's fallen over. We got him into the x-ray room, and uh, we like told it, we met him in the ER, and we were like, uh, hey, we, we're going to take you over for some x-rays, and he was like, sure. And then we go and shoot the x-rays, we take him to the room, we get him in the bed, and then um, as soon as we lie him down, he can't move by himself, so we have to transfer him to the table. As soon as we get him to the table, he's like, I have to pee. Badly. I'm like, can I wait till the end of the x-ray? And he's like, no. And, um... So we have to... Uh, I hand him a urinal. And I'm like, do you want us to leave the room? And he's like, no, that's okay. So I'm just standing there awkwardly while he's fucking peeing into a cup in front of me. Um, what else happened? Oh, yeah, so he's lying on his back. He can't move. And I'm just thinking to myself, there is no universe where all the pee ends up in this cup and there's no mess. But despite thinking that, I didn't say anything. The one on his tail is going to be a pain in the ass. No, the foot. There's a lot of items on the ground. Anyway, um, oh, my holy went ran out. He's going to breathe some fire on me in about one second. Walk, little Lynette. Anyway, um, when he handed me back the urinal after he'd used it, he was like, I need a towel, which I was like, yeah. And then he handed me back the urinal after he used it, and there was, like, no pee in the urinal. Which meant that it was all on the table, which I kind of anticipated. But it still hurt to see it. Okay, we've almost killed him. The remaining hearts are in really inconvenient spots. Some are on the wings. Some on his head. This is a very annoying boss. Oh my god, why was I not charging? What else? Anyway, we wash him down with a towel. And, um... We have to wipe the entire room after that. No, come back. There we go. Pretty easy boss. He dropped like an ass ton of things on the ground, but I probably let them all despawn. Looks like he just dropped a bunch more. So it's level four, uh, 94 when this guy... Uh, when I fought him. And it looks like it's taken me up to 97 at least. 98. Whew, my game. There we go. He drops some horns. He drops a lot of shit. Oh, I thought he did. Can't find anything else. A lot of it's in his corpse. I think.
Uh, you shouldn't spend them, you should hoard them. Maybe he doesn't despawn and those items are just locked away. Never to be obtainable. I think the uh, exit was this way. I don't know which way is which. That's... Is that where I came in? That looks more like the end. What could the reward be for fighting the Ur-Dragon? I bet it's something really cool, like a whole bunch of weak stones. Wow. That's a whole bunch of weak stones. Every one of these is worth 30k, which also makes this the most efficient way to get money. It's also just nice to have a bunch of weak stones. You need 20 for the quest, and this is like already more than 20, I think. You get a weapon, too. Today I got the Escalon, which is actually a very cool sword, I think. I think it's the one-handed sword with permanent holy enchantment. Yeah. This is a very cool weapon, actually. There's a uh, Bitter Black Isle added a better version of it. I think this was either the second best or the third best sword in the game, in the base game. Um, and then they made another version for Bitter Black Isle that's like the second best sword in the game. One-handed sword. And it's identical. It's just like high stats and holy enchantment that never runs out. Gotta get the sauce, so it's not here. I don't have anyone to break this. But I bet there's some super cool minerals on that. Whoa. Did someone break it? I don't know if anyone has a pick. I normally allow my pawn to just keep a pick. I think. But I don't see one. Nope. Anyway, that's the way to grind levels and also the way to grind money. I'm going to get to level 100. And then I'm going to beat the game on hard mode. Then I'm gonna play through the game again more rapidly. That was 20 weeks, sounds alright. Let me think about this. And then I want to do Bitter Black and Speedrun Mode. I don't know what Speedrun Mode does to your base file. Does it just wipe it? Or does it not even affect it in any way? It probably doesn't affect it. Since there's no saving in Speedrun Mode, it wouldn't have a need to save over anything. Um, let's... I'm gonna level away. I might need an ass ton of money is the thing. I'm gonna kill the Ur-Dragon once more. Eighty-five. I probably would like more than that, but that's a good number. I can always go farm more. It's like not like the Air Dragon's gonna disappear on me. You can actually kill him right from the start of the game in uh Dark Arisen. Anyway, then I'm gonna beat the game and then I'm gonna set up for a speedrun mode playthrough plus Jupiter Black. I've actually never done normal mode on this entire run. I just started in hard mode and I've stayed in hard mode the hard time. I never moved it down. Hi. Yeah, I've been, um, I've been a little busy. I've only got five comp competency exams left in my work, and I've been doing a lot of operating room stuff, which I don't like at all, but it's not too bad. Um, what else?
I've only got, I graduate in May, so I've got very little left. Come on, he's right there. Looks like a hunter, not a hunter strider. It was actually, they look the damn same. Strider and ranger are just the same class. The wagon. The Air Dragon's design is pretty sick. I forget his lore. Someone look it up. Prepare to be stunlocked, idiot. So it looks like you don't actually need to kill every heart, you just need to do enough damage total to his various hearts. Monster designs. Shoot. Don't make me choose. The Saurian is my absolute favorite. The Saurian is just peak brilliance when it comes to monster designs. But I kind of a big part of that is gameplay design. Saurian is the most interesting and elegantly designed monster in terms of how well its weaknesses make sense logically speaking. A monster I just like looking at. Let me think about that. Shit, bro, why do you have all these hearts in your fucking leg? I guess I'll cast a size them just to see what it does. Not feeling that optimistic, though. Oh, I'm not super accurate. You know, I hit him, though. Alright, that was a giant waste of my time. I love that Focus Bolt is literally like your strongest attack as this class. And it costs no stamina at all. Holy Focus Bolt is so Imba. Hashtag Imba. Does anyone say Imba anymore? Or is that too ancient? Alright, what if I did Seism again, even though it's obviously a bad idea? But this time I do it from next to him. Is that his attack? It's kind of scary. There seem to be a lot of items on the ground. Well, I seem to be hitting him. I don't seem to be doing much damage. I think that was just a giant waste of time. That's a lot of shit on the ground. I can't even pick it up. I can't tell how much my pawns are helping. It's been a while since I've replaced them. Maybe if we had four sorcerers all doing Holy Focus Bolt. While he's down, let's go ahead and refresh our little thing. Look at all that shit on the ground. I'm gonna be greedy and try and grab some of it. <laughs> I knocked him down in the air. Pretty dang. Alright. Let's just loot some shit. Dragon scales. Future dragon scales. wonder if cursed dragons have those or if it's only this fellow. Sour ambrosial meat. That's always nice. Probably came from inside him. Oh, he's perfect blocking the wind. I forgot that was a thing. Pretty funny. Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. He thought you were nice, but it is I who is nice. Where the fuck are all the hearts? I see these ones. Get back here, you. Don't breathe, I fucking... Don't breathe poison on me. This attack is a little bit different from Gr Grigori's. Because he, like, fires it into the air. And then it, like, falls. Oof. That actually did like zero damage. 
So I did that, by the way. Oh my god. What are my pawns up to? Oh my god. These charge attacks. That seemed to do quite a lot of damage. Okay, my focus bolts no longer tracing in that direction. Someone has wings, they're moving too fast. Are you supposed to get those hits off? I need more yellows on my party. That didn't ask ton. Chimera's nice. The ogre is really good. What are some other extremely well designed enemies? Shit. No, it's a bit ambitious of me. Just have to walk under him. Please do not. He's casting a spell. It's probably Grand Shenshin, honestly. Oh, a wake stone. Right here on the ground, just for me. I have some on his head. Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. Did he drop a wake stone just from being attacked? I wanna grab more shit. I don't know what his health is right now for the onliner dragon. Doubtlessly no one's fighting him. Alright, probably one more attack. Not that attack though. No. God, he's such a good design. I love you, the air dragon. No, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. I have the wake stone, so I'm not going to die or anything. Oh my god, you're dead, dude. Come on, just die. Alright, got an achievement for reaching level 100. Get owned, idiot. Even at level like 190, uh, killing this guy repeatedly still gives you several level ups. That's how lucrative he is. I'll see the other shit he dropped. Wow, 124th job, I remember that. Those were the days. It's not true anymore. Isn't there like a sixth job now? I think that's a thing. I'm so behind on Maple, I literally don't know what's going on at all. I can't name a single 5th job sp uh, skill. I wish 5th job worked like other jobs. Oops. Where's my weapon today? Another Escalon. I did not need that. It's funny that they give you, like, a few... Alright, level 100 feels like it's enough to brave the deep dark depths of um, hard mode uh, Bitter Black Island. I don't need no poison. Still got my lucky rock. Ah, should I explore the Everfall a bit? I think, in my heart of hearts, the answer is yes, I should. So we'll put these away for now. And we're just going to kind of head down there and see what we get. I have a lot of discipline. What I should do... Let me just show it off. I have capped everything. Except Magic Archer, which I haven't even unlocked. Magic Archer is my favorite endgame job. I've done them all, damn it. Magic Archer is just the most fun. Um, I should actually unlock Magic Archer now, though it pains me. Oof. And we should uh, Dragon Forge some stuff. 
because this is the one opportunity I have to... Okay, we're just going to buy new shit for my weapons. Goodness knows I have some money to waste. Let's try and forge the armor. Fuck it, why not? I can boost up those bangles a little bit. I don't like the way I look with this. I don't like those fucking my underwear. The yellow gators have got to go. They're they're not great. Cloth greaves kind of look good. Whoa! I don't like this. No, I don't. I don't like that at all. That's kind of cool. I love the look of the denim hosen. That's goofy. Flame skirt, of course, is pretty great. It's armor. Never mind. I think the winner... Huntsman's trousers are kind of cool. I think the winner is the denim hosen. Let's change my cape. It's kind of cute. I like that. Oh, the wings are cool, though. I love the Knight's Mantle. It's so goofy looking, but I love it. The Harpy Cloak looks super fucking badass. I can have some wings. Okay, let's buy a weapon or two. Wait! Let's buy a couple skills. Uh, no, I'm not looking for any other games besides this one. Looking forward to. Okay, Sunburst. That's better than not having something. I'll never use it, though. Seeker Bolt. I will eventually use that skill. It's actually the best skill in the game for killing Daimon. Spab said, fuck video games. I have nothing else, huh? Alright, well I can equip some stuff just because I have it from other jobs. That's... That's fine. Ah, uh, That's... These two are okay. I don't know if they're that great. I like them. Uh, I don't know if this actually works with this job. These two just make me stronger. And that's, that does work with this job. So Emphasis is the one I'm not super sure of. But fuck it. Cute. Wing cape. I got all excited to do a... Um, a uh, staff... Magic Archer and it sucks ass. It's just mage. And then I got excited to do a staff um, Mystic Knight and it also sucks ass. It's just mage. They don't have enough unique spells. Alright, give me your best daggers. Shilling Razors? It's a fucking. It's an enchanted one. Well, it is strong. Give me your best magic bow. Harold's Helix. Sure. This will get me by for the time being. Now we need to upgrade them at least a little bit. Glacial Rectrix. And a Sinistone. I have a Malachris. I don't know how hard Sinistones are to get. Please hold while I find out. Dragon's Dogma. Sinistone. Comes from a succubus. Where the fuck do I find those? Oh. They're harpy type enemies. They can be found in Tainted Mountain. 
Manamiya Trail near the abandoned storehouse in post game and Cobal Coast in post game. They can also be found in the Everfall post dragon in the Chamber of Fate and the Chamber of Tragedy. That sounds like the easiest place to find them. Alright, what about the Chilling Razors? Glacial Wreck Tricks. That sounds like something I get from a snow harpy. Yes. In the Chamber of Distress. That's the one with the worm. How have I not got ten of those? I probably have nine. Frozen holy water. Alright, fuck it. I've got great dragon claws to spare. Eldrisite. Shiverberries. Probably, if I can find one Shiverberry, I can probably find three immediately. Denim Hosen. That's annoying. Fuck it. Carpy Cloak. Carpy Pinion times eight. Oh, I can just look at how many I have. Alright, so how am I doing my Glacial Pinions? Or whatever. I have five. The main thing is that I get the um, Dragon Forged uh, Boo. Alright. Let's head down. So how much did I upgrade my shit? I've already forgotten. Didn't upgrade the daggers at all. It's only 2%. Oh yeah, I have my ice spell on enemies that are um, all ice element. Epic. I can't even fucking hit anything. Oh yeah, rank 2 already. Killed like 3 enemies. Oops. Just gonna wait for myself to get freed. You get experience, discipline insanely fast with my loadout. You. That was pretty quick. I love that you can just see in the dark with um, Magic Archer. God, this job is perfect. me when someone shoots me. Oh yeah, double jump. I forgot how nice it was. I know you're in there. Rank three, baby. This is one of the this is one of the three slowest leveling jobs, if you can believe that. But when I have like this many multipliers on my discipline, it could be even faster. That's the funny thing. I could have another of that ring. So can I even kill? Um, I should be looking for the Retrixes. Since these guys drop it. There it is. Look, see? I haven't been paying close attention to that. Like, I didn't even loot any of the corpses. Probably some of them have it. That's the direwolf. Ah, I just remembered I can roll everywhere again. What a great feeling. This also appears to be a direwolf. No, it's a harpy. The new students have finally shut up at my work. 
they're a year below me. So I am now an upperclassman. It's been pretty neat seeing them. Uh, they all don't know anything, which is great, because it kind of makes me aware of how much shit I've learned. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to kill this guy. I've got I see everything. I guess I can use Sunburst on him, right? That's Fire Element. They really don't. Alright, well, I got the heart. Die, die, die. Don't grab me. Well, we're fucking him up. Yes. Get that commission off. My kicks do more damage because they're non elemental. I think. Someone knocked his horn off. Yep, there he goes again. Getting kicked right in the heart can't be pleasant. There he goes. Not a thing, Dragonforged. There's his horns. That's all his drops. A really, really big burn. That would be the femur. That is your biggest bone, I believe in mass, and also I believe in length. I can't say without a shadow of a doubt that it's longer than the fibula, which is kind of long. But I think it is. My take on bones in video games has changed. For example, anyone who's played Final Fantasy XII, the new version, Zodiac Age, has perhaps run into the Biblos bone, which is the game's best mace. And looking at the Biblos bone, I believe it to be a radius. I believe you are swinging the Biblos' radius. Only two weak stones from the dragon, that's not very lucky. Anyway, let's grab some skills. Okay, Sunflare is a meme. Ascension is a pretty fun move, so I'll grab it. I have a lot of discipline anyway. The jumbo and good one. I forgot toss and triggers on this uh this class. I plan to kinda get everything. Hunter bolt, sure. This one's kinda fun, so I'll grab it. It's not good, but it's fun. There's so many like random random augments in this game, especially in the DLC. I will never put those on. They're just extra things to scroll through. Ah, sh sure. Chuck Sension on there. Chuck Magical Flare. It's going to be kind of fun to like re-experience learning this class. Can't wait till I have Immolation. So time to sleep for seven days straight. My clinical instructor is already being a huge dick to the fucking new students. I can't believe the kind of guy he is. I just remembered I shot some harpies around the corner and didn't loot their corpses.
anyway, my clinical instructor was like quizzing the new guy. He came in. And it's like show us how you shoot a chest X-ray. And then he was trying to get the new guy to say like techniques, manual techniques. And first of all, most places don't even use manual techniques. Although I don't criticize my f instructor for trying to teach them, I think that's actually very useful. Die wolf. I hope that wasn't super loud. Anyway, um, we're not taught techniques in class. No. I gotta loot the corpse. Where's your retrix? Mark. Nice block. He like blocked and then instantly did um oh that's rank four. I guess I'm a little wounded. He's doing a big one. Anyway, we're taught the KV to use for various body parts, but we're not taught the um milliampere seconds. So um ooh, let's try out the skill. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Ooh, look at that. How long does it last, I wonder? That's pretty fun, honestly. That's a really fun skill. Eh, it lasts quite a while. That's actually super neat. I really like this one. You know, it's not that good. Get out, idiots. I think you can sneak up on me. Palmy perfume is a pretty nice thing to find, I guess. Okay, these guys are pretty stingy about their um, glacial retrix drop. So we'll try sentient against this guy. Pew pew pew. Uh, sentient drains HP for whatever it hits. And you can actually use it on corpses, which is pretty funny. So you can restore HP on a dead thing before it disappears. I'll show that off on this guy's corpse when I'm all done killing him. Kicked his fucking heart. Immolation just mercs this guy, as you can probably guess. Okay, cut that out. Let's try Ascension off on him. He did a um, Miasma or whatever. Okay, I successfully re moved it. He's gonna land on me, don't land on me! The worm is not very good at flying. Whereas the drake flies a decent amount and the um, uh, The uh, wyvern basically can't stay down. Be nice if my pawns participated. Nice combat roll. No, stop. Shit. Exequay! So gonna get one of my dumbass pawns. Can't seem to reel this guy. I'd probably do more damage with my bow. That's too hard to hit his heart. What is he doing? I've never seen him do that animation. Alright, he's fallen. There we go. What is my pawn up to? Damn, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, can I please get a Dragon Forge? Nope. 
This is not the most efficient. Oh, wait. Oh, I leveled up. It doesn't matter. Lucky is the pawn ever able to fight at the arisen side or, risen or something. That's great. Pawn's name is Homewrecker. I got them a while ago. Level 73. I could definitely upgrade that. Unfortunately, I have to change to online mode to upgrade my pawns, and that's a nuisance. You guys know how it is. Only got one job level that time. If I could Dragonforge this weapon, I would be so much better off for Bitter Black. Now granted, I could just fight Grigori, and he will Dragonforge all my stuff, and I do have to fight him again anyway. Or do I? Technically, no. I only have to beat the game once. And also on speedrun mode. Was that five? I d haven't been counting. Alright, let's see what kind of six skills I get at rank four Mystic and, uh, Magic Archer. It's, I bet it's really cool shit that's not stupid and bad. How oh, I never bought Cutting Wind? That's crazy. Oh yeah, that's right, because I had the ring that gave me the third version of it. Um, the skill is good, I guess. Reset is a nice little novelty. Shut Up In is fun. I guess I'll grab that. I don't know, I'm not going to put it on probably. So only these five. Sixfold Bolt, that's a good skill actually. That's my main attack. Ricochet Seeker, that's my other main attack. Nothing else. Guess we're gonna put Ricochet Seeker on even though um, Magic Flare is surprisingly cool. And fuck it, let's go ahead and put um, Toss and Trigger, I guess. <laughs> it's best for the worm. The work is a lot lighter now that it's being divided between three or four people. Students, that is. It used to be divided between two people, me and my classmate. But now where the seniors and the juniors are in, the juniors get priority if there's work being done. So not only am I getting the work is being divided up among more people, but also if there's only one person working, it's not going to be me, it's going to be one of the juniors. So that basically changes everything. I could just save and kill this guy repeatedly. The worm, I mean. Once I can set myself on fire, I can kill the worm in like one second. I don't know what level I get that skill. Alright, give me your Retrix. Dude, where are the items? Uh, by the way, actually, uh, monsters in the Everfall drop different uh, items than monsters elsewhere. And less items in general, but they drop wake stones. Which is nice if you want wake stones. Pawns be like. Hold still. You know what video I watched today? The 420 combo video. The second one. God, that video is good. No one with a mega mode. That's like my crowning achievement as a human being. I love all the enemies with just red eyes. That's such a nice touch. Are we frozen? Oh yeah, just go ahead and and Dragon's Maw, that fucking random harpy. Mm. 
Oh, I didn't even see you. Yeah, they could have done a lot more with Necromancy. So, toss and trigger. We'll give that a go and see how well it works. It is fire element, but I don't know how well it's going to actually hit a heart. What's the command to get more? There it is. Didn't hit him, though. Jeez Louise. Oh, I could tire myself out. I like the part where we dragons mod him and, like, commissioned him at the same time. And he roared at me. And for some reason, one of my pawns is just fine. It's probably invincibility from Dragon's Maw. Jeez Louise. Alright, one dragon forging, please. Nothing. After level 100, the uh, gains for this job are really shitty, which is unfortunate because I'm going to be this job for the rest of the game. Well, I got to rank 5, so that's some progress. Again, I can very rapidly kill this guy once I can cling to him and when I'm on fire. And uh, then I'll be able to farm Dragon Forging very efficiently. Advanced trigger. I'll learn that, but I probably won't use it. Grand Sension. Magic rebuffer. This is actually one of the best skills. You wouldn't think so. But it has a kind of secret effect later on. Magical Gleam and Funnel Trail. I don't want to swap anything out. I will show off the grinding method. If you want to be an idle grinder like me. You just head up here. Sometimes you run into Fornival and he might die. But if he dies, he just respawns in seven ga in game days. There's uh, Maximilian or whatever. So basically, you come over here, you spawn these enemies. Past a certain point in the game, they basically can't hurt anyone. And then you just hop up here. Ooh, that guy got owned. And then your pawns will just kill the, um, the infinitely respawning guards. And they'll never ever die. And you just allow them to do this, and you get a bunch of discipline, and your main pawn gets a bunch of discipline. The experience is okay, it's not good. The rate at which you're killing enemies is just not very fast. But the dis discipline gains are pretty quick. You can participate too if you want to do it even faster. But, you know, the whole point of this strategy instead of anything else is that you can do it while idling. Sometimes the enemies take a little minute to respawn. Oh, there. There's two different places they come in from. They're not very bright. Well, my pawns aren't very bright either. Spending all the time casting that fucking fulmination or whatever it is. Anyway, I'm not here to idle. Oh, he did quite a lot of damage to me. As of right now, there are 10 show invocations for Dragon's Dogma 2. The most recent one is Warfare. 
I wonder if that's all the vocations in the game. Warfare has the feel of something they would show last. And the game is almost out. A month and change. Oh, I let my Scrags be draw. No, I didn't. They're still good. My character casually saying five second roll. What I should technically do is just explore the Everfall. I have a map. Alright. First up is the Chamber of Anxiety. It's on the left side. There's apparently a white in it. Did I say left side? Because it's on the left. Here it is. Here's the Chamber of Anxiety. Let's try and touch it. There we go. Oh yeah, it makes us all right. I hear him. That son of a bitch. There he is. I really didn't do that much damage. These enemies, those ones are w resistant to magic. Sure wish I kept that magical gleam or whatever. Oops. They're being pretty kind to me. Oh, never mind. That's a lot of zombies. Yeah, that's a blunt weapon right there. Whoops. My feet are blunt weapons. It's funny how like actually useful that is. Don't even need to be able to see an enemy to kill them as magic archer. Let's not wear ourselves out. There you go, this is my next rank up. These enemies feel pretty high level. Ah, uh, shit. What have I got? I've got advanced trigger. Eh. I have a feeling these guys can cast, um... Uh... Oh. He dropped his skull, damn it. I have a feeling those guys can cast, uh. Maelstrom. Alright, that was a pretty short area. Just a bunch of undead. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And I got my rank up, but let's keep going. I take more damage, not only because it's hard mode, but because of the thing I'm wearing. I also lose more stamina because of the thing I'm wearing. On the interest of discipline. Old FPS. Sometimes. Usually I find FPS to be really boring. Uh, an old FPS I like is Painkiller. Another old FPS I like is, um... Ooh, I've been in this one. This is Absence. Yeah, I feel no particular need to explore that. Um... Goldeneye. I don't know what blood is. Short answer, no. So the other one's, like, right across. I can maybe make it. I'm not confident. Let's just take this one. So we missed Hesitation. It has Arch Hydra in it. We missed the one with the Arch Hydra. He's the most notorious guy here. 
This one has a gore chimera and whites or two cockatrices. Oh, this is the two cockatrices room. This is actually the hardest room in the entire game. Well, in the base game. If I get the two cockatrices. I got the gore chimera, that's easier. Whoa! Wow, he died quick. Do not land on me. Alright, we got at least a few wake stones. Uh, set a wake stone on the ground. Gorkamires are pretty hard enemies. It'd be funny if the Ascension worked on the... Or not Ascension, what do you call that? Exequay. So is the other... Oh, he's still alive. Why'd the other one die so fast? Wait, what the fuck is this? The other one just got owned in like one second, and this one's just chilling. I like how you can't miss with the fucking magic bow. Got my in-game aim assist. I think that guy just used heal on himself, by the way. Ah, shit. Ran right into the poison. Pardon me. Alright, a lot of wake stones in my pocket. Oh, shit. Is someone turning the stone? No. I got scared for a sec. Let's try and hit the sneaky. Oh, healed again. I should just cling to it, I guess. Oof. Well, I got wake stones. Never saw it coming. What the fuck was that? Oh shit, it got me. Uh, let's try and resurrect my pawn, I guess. Can we please? Grab the fucking snake. Alright, well my guy's probably gonna remove the snake, yeah. Alright, now the strat... Okay, well now the strat is to just hit him. The strat is now to cling to the goat. That's doing some pretty nice fucking damage. There we go. Get fucking owned. I got the very easy version of this room. Gorkamari is a really fun boss. It's basically a glorified puzzle boss. Okay. This way is shut. I can already tell, but I just want to fill it out on my map. High spud milk that I didn't pick up. This way is also shut. Conserving my stamina, baby. Got a tumble everywhere. This is not even a door. Alright, we fully explored this one. That sounds kind of fun. Next one's a top. And then we got another bottom one, Spectre and Succubi, it's tragedy. Beyond good and evil. I'm that raccoon in that one guy's backyard. Alright, what nonsense awaits in this place? According to my map, it is Spectre and Succubi. So Succubi are the ones who had the item that I kind of wanted. Yeah, I have magic, asshole. Nice.
Wait, where is it? It is so satisfying the fact that this guy is a magic class. But only if you've actually, oof, suffered against them as a physical class already. I heard that the new Prince of Persia game is fucking extremely sick, actually. I was pretty much... I thought that franchise was just done. They said in an interview that um, uh, they canned it in favor of um, Assassin's Creed. After poor reception from um, Forgotten, Forgotten Sands. Which wasn't even a bad game, it was just like, I think a lot of people just didn't want it because it they thought it was a movie game. My pawns are doing something down there. That's frustrating. I should buy it. Give them my money. I don't want them to make two Prince of Persia games in a row where they're kind of good, but uh, not pit, not bought. Go back here. God, I found every succubus in the whole fucking map. Are you kidding me? I didn't mean to do that, but I got him. Ooh. Spurious wing. Wow, there are a lot of these fucking guys in here. Rank 7? Jesus, this is quick. My dumbass pawns. Oh, that's a gargoyle. They don't take much damage from magic, I think. Jesus, why are there so many of them? Get owned. So somewhere around here is the gargoyle. I have no idea where. No, oh, there's one. It found me. That's the other. Thank you. My pawn held it down. He should kind of just find us here, I think. I have the ricochet spell. Let him in. Come in here, dude. Just come in. Ricochet spell is going to do nothing in that huge open area. be a miracle if I can hit him like this. My regular attack's actually doing pretty good damage. 105. And I finished a quest probably tied to killing a bunch of those. Bastard wing. Bastard. Wing. I hear it. There it is. It's another um, garg. Is he taking the stairs? Gargoyle that takes the stairs? I do want to kill him. I don't have that many gargoyle drops. Oh shit, I picked it up. How do you, like, go pin it? I'm just picking it up. Jewel of Petrifaction. It looks a little cheap, but it looks fun.
anyway, the last I heard from Prince of Persia after Forgotten Saints was they were doing a fucking remake for Saints of Time, which, um... Ooh, Nebula Cape, New Cape. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Anyway, that's a good idea. Saints of Time remake, since that's one of the best video games ever made, and also the best-selling Prince of Persia game, I think. Maybe 06 was, actually, or 08 or whatever. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Shit, I missed it. The annoying thing about that skill is if you don't hit with it, you don't hit, you don't do any damage at all. Are we grappling it? I can't tell. I think that was grapnel. I remember a lot of people saying, like, why is he not, um, Persian? Maybe not a lot. I saw people discussing that. But I guess it's, he's not even the Prince of Persia. He's like a fucking Prince of Persia satellite character, so it's kind of like a spin-off game. I don't give a shit. I just want the game to be good. I don't mind at all if they want to have a black protagonist that's kind of cool of anything. I should have some new skills. I have mixed feelings on every single black character having the same three hairstyles. It's representation, but, you know, it's not very original. I want to see it. Let's take a look at it. Maybe it's badass. It's kind of cute. Nebula. It's black. It's like a dark black. Uh, let's learn some skills. I think seven already. Shadow Shackle. Fuck it, why not? Backfire, that's the one. We can now be on fire. That's one of the best skills in the entire game. I was really afraid to use it at first. I was like, no, I don't want to... Oh, here we go. That's the Magic Archer spell. This is the only spell unique to this job, I think. Magical Fog that curses foes who enter. Uh, Explosive Bolt is actually a surprisingly fun skill. That's the thing about this class. Is there's a lot of stuff that's just fun. Ward arrow and bracer arrow. I've never seen anyone use these. Ally impervious to all manner of debilitations. Like who what? Who would devote a skill slot to that? This should have been on staff, and you should have had six staff spells. Anyway, the Sands of Time game was like outsourced to an Indian company that had apparently either not made video games or not made that many video games. And a lot of people thought that it was gonna be dead on arrival. And the last I heard of it was like years ago, so Maybe the mere act of getting it to a random company that never made a game was development hell in and of itself. Anyway, they snuck out an entire Prince of Persia game while remaking Saints of Time. That's so... I don't know. This could be good. I have no idea. It's just not worth a slot for me. True Seeker. Yes. Enemy Seeking. That one's an inherent too, so we don't have to equip it. <laughs> Augments on Magic Archer, weird. Alright, let's be able to put ourselves on fire. This is almost the loadout I want. Technically the loadout I want in the end game is going to be Magic Rebuffer, but it's not good yet. It's good once I get the final version. This is end game as far as I'm concerned. But explosive bolt is kind of fun. I'll put it on for a while. It's all, it's going to be a minute before hunter bolt is actually a good move. It's only good in particular fights.
I keep seeing the new Tekken characters and thinking, who the fuck is this? I don't know any of them. How many new characters in Tekken 8? Do you want to know the two-step process for what it's like being me IRL? My coworkers occasionally find out, like in my various jobs and whatever, my various locations now, that I do YouTube stuff, either because they hear from my other coworkers or because I tell them. I don't like, you know, tell every person I meet, but I do mention it here and there. Um, and what always happens is they find out I have a YouTube channel and that I cover fighting games. And then they ask me if I like Tekken. That's always what happens. Tekken is like far and above a normal person fighting game. <laughs> Street Fighter 6 bridged the gap a little bit. So did Street Fighter 5, I guess, but 6 even more so. No, I don't want to fight the Arch Hydra. Tekken's been mainstream since 3. Maybe before that. I remember 3 being extremely mainstream. 3 had not only arcade consoles everywhere, but also... Um, right, let's grab some weak stones just so we don't die to the Hydra. I passed them. There they are. 122, good number. My pawns have some as well. Let's deposit the pawn ones. Hey, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, I think Tekken Three on PS One was a was legitimately a console mover. I remember that shit in like every fucking department store, where people were fucking playing it nonstop with the fucking demo mode with like Zhao Yu and Eddie. Was that the debut game for both of them? I think it was, right? Was Eddie in earlier Tekken games? I don't remember him. I didn't even go to the one with the Hydra. I know he was in 3, but was that his debut game? Yeah. This is maybe makeable. Nope, it's not. Right, let's just try again from the top. Is this hesitation? I think it's not. I think I gotta go one more down. Graphic schmaffics. This appears to be hesitation. PS1's library is so weird looking back. It's like all RPGs. And then like a couple other random games that were... Well, I thought these guys were weak dice. I guess this particular one isn't. Oh, they still are. No. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 1. What else? Uh, Brave Fancy Musashi. I don't know how mainstream that game was. This guy just doesn't seem to be taking that much damage. I mean, no, that's, that's RPG. There were a lot of fucking good RPGs on PS1. A lot, a lot, a lot. My guy tried to Sparta kick me. Nice dragon's model that fucking barely hit the guy. Okay, these guys give a lot of experience. Let's uh, set myself on fire just to try it out. Oh, 
give him a hug. Oh. I can't cling to these guys. This is the strongest when you can cling to them. Of course, it's not bad all the time. This is a sorry tail, yep. Ape Escape. A lot of the gr better games on uh, PS1, like Alundra and Threads of Fate, they were like good games, but they weren't super well known. Oh, let's try Ricochet Hunter. Get absolutely owned. Ricochet Hunter in tight corridors is so fucking fun. Whoa, one of them healed. God, Ricochet Hunter is one of the most fun skills in the game, honestly. Tomb Raider. That's a well-known banger that was mostly known for its PS1 versions, I think. Well, I think it was mostly known for PC, actually. Time for me to get absolutely owned by the Hydra. Yes, PS1 had a lot of okay ports of Capcom games. None of them were great. I think there was a Street Fighter 2 Turbo on PS1, wasn't it? But no one ever talked about it. The one that I remember was the Dreamcast one. Um, oh yeah, the Crash games and the Spyro games. They were good. They were well known. All right, one Hydra, please. How many HP bars? That's a lot. So immolating and attaching myself to this guy is going to be very effective at removing heads. The Hydra has, it's not dangerous, but it has one attack where it swings its tail at you that's like an instant kill. It's like the strongest physical attack in the whole game, just out of nowhere. No, don't get me wrong, it's not very good if he breathes on you. His poison spit is pretty scary. But you mostly just don't want him to swing his tail at you. I think he will eat these guys. Well, that guy dropped fucking cash money. Do you guys see that? I've never seen an enemy drop three giant money bags. Alright, he's about to do some snapping. Only narrowly got him. You're actually very safe on the heads, amusingly. And this is also the fastest way to hurt him. My attacks are doing fuck all damage, I should be on fire. I should be using 100 kisses. Alright, let's just do that. Well, there goes ahead. That took a lot of stamina. But we've already got some decent damage on him. Wasn't there, like, the definitive port for... Uh... Whoa, 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 don't hurt me. The definitive port for uh, Super Turbo was, like, on the 3DO or something. It was on a very cursed console that you would never think about. The 3DO is a cursed console, guys. Right. 
Rain him down, baby. I set myself on fire. Or now it's cling to him or something, I don't know. Hey, ass hat. Whoa! I forgot he can do that. That's why you don't normally climb those. I haven't seen that attack in a minute. Symphony of the Night is the game I like to bring up. It's one of the PS2 goats. Surprised it's still taking this long to remove the head. PS1 goats. Did I say PS2? My pawn got owned. Under pawns even have affected behavior if they're blind. Uh, I want to grab that. I got it. The DS and the PS2 had so much garbage, but that doesn't matter. Let's eat a mushroom. It is kind of funny though, looking at shit like Santa Bowling 1 plus 2. That's a real game, by the way. Actually, I don't know if it's called Santa Bowling or what. There was a... Uh, maybe Elf Bowling. It was literally like two Flash games that got a DS port. Pretty funny game. Hey, right, where are you biting? All the way over there. Wow, the hitbox on that is so generous. I'll talk shit on Nintendogs. You really just chill until he drops a head and then you jump on the head and attack it. That's the strat for this guy if you're a yellow class. It's probably the easiest way to kill him. If you're a, a blue class, you pretty much just cast angle on the heads, I think. Uh, let's uh, eat one mushroom just so I don't get flattened. No step on snack. This guy would take forever to kill, but every time you remove a head successfully, he uh, reevaluates his life bar, if you will. I suppose his head hasn't died yet. I hit it so much. There it goes. I almost got all my stamina back. Whoa. Elf Bowling, 1 plus 2. $75 on eBay. I had an R4DS. I played that shit so much. You guys have no idea. Don't hit me with your tail. Always want to stay in front of him. Nope. Oh, I also won't always want to grab the head. I missed it. It was such a good decision visually to give every monster have glowing eyes that can be seen in perfect darkness. I don't have words for how well that works. Oh, my fucking yellow is just getting owned. I should have new pawns. I shouldn't have come to fight this guy without upgrading my pawns. You can probably already tell, but this guy... Ooh. Has pretty nice rewards. This is probably the... I think this guy has the most HP of anything in the Everfall. And he's arguably the hardest of anything in the Everfall. Light Hydra. I've seen Hercules like three times and I always forget what happens to the Hydra in that movie. I remember him beheading it and then it growing more heads and him being like, okay, now what? Do they like bury it in rubble or something? I remember as a kid thinking, oh my god, what can he ever do? And then that time I was watching Hercules, uh, I like didn't get to finish the movie. 
I think it was like we were watching it in class or something like that. Me just casually using my regular attack. Once it loses another head, I probably win. Which means I should probably just try and cling to it. I've done some good weakening of that second head. Probably he's like seconds from death. Ew. I like how we go from like a crowning achievement that you can kill a single Hydra head. Won't oh, grab my pawn. To um killing with an entire camp of warriors to killing a Hydra solo. Nice progression. I can't believe that whole Hydra only had three scales. And also like a human rib cage. Well, I wouldn't call it a human rib cage. Right, it actually does look like a snake rib cage. Yeah. Alright, I'll take it back. What about Phil? Hades is the best part of the movie, though, no doubt. Now we're going to go to the Chamber of Remorse. This one has a golem, and I have very poor non-magical damage. So I'm using magical everything. I think this one is remorse. There are 12 floors, and I've now explored at least up to 8, since 8's Lament, which is the Ur-Dragon. I've also already done Confusion, but I don't even remember how to get to that one. I think it has a regular entrance somewhere. This one I've just fully explored before. Oh yeah, Secret Softener. Am I really 106? Jeez Louise. Where's Joyce? Is Joyce in this floor? You. Found you. Joy. Um, I think you can find some interesting stuff. I want the two liquid vims. So fuck it, I'll buy them. I think this guy has some interesting things you can only find here. Petrifactor, those are quite annoying to get. Slick black pinion. Sure. That's quite pricey. Carnation, huh? Yep, these are pretty strong. Dragon's Pain is evidently a dagger. No idea how it compares to the dagger I'm using. It's almost certainly considered to be better by the game. <sighs> Excuse me.
I think this is better than the Dragon's Dogma, but I don't actually remember. XY has a little bit of like stuff that seems like it would be from a third version that's just not anywhere. Like, um, as is Floet. This is completely unreleased, isn't it? I think they never did anything with that. I want them to make a Let's Go Gold and Silver. I think that would be hysterical. Because then there would be three different remake, or there would be three different Pokemon franchises that are just various stages of remake. Um. Let's go Pichu and let's go Togepi. What do you guys think? Are those the mascots of... The cutesy mascots of Gold and Silver? I mean, we could have Meryl, I guess. I think Pichu and Togepi makes the most sense. I mean, I feel like I should just buy this. Break my bank to do it. I can actually probably just afford it right now by selling wake stones. Say something nice about modern Pokemon. I'm going to hit you with something pretty hard. Uh, Pokemon Scarlet is the most fun I've had playing a Pokemon game since the first time I played Black White. What do you think? Killing razors are considered better than the Dragon's Pain. Marty is one of my favorite character designs ever. It's funny. Diadem. It's a bit pricey, isn't it? Raises my magic by a lot. Crimson Plate. Crazy bugs. No. There, everything was a little janky. But nothing was especially janky. Most of the bugs I ran into were stuff like my, my little let's go mode monster failing to track me. Favorite trainers? What do you mean? What did I buy that's so heavy? It's just the liquid vims. D O G A R S Dogar. Uh, Ricochet is probably actually decent in this room. Gym Leader... Ro oh, just visual designs of human characters in the Pokemon game. Ah, shit. What are my favorites? I like almost everyone. Well... But who my favorites are is really hard. Like, I do love Marnie. I love, um... Let me think. I like Lily in her game. The Pokemon protagonists are always super cute. They take a really basic design and make it very appealing somehow. No, we're going down. One of my pawns died. Oh, she's here. She must have fallen. The cool thing about... Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Uh, 100 kisses is you can just keep on spamming it even after your stamina runs out. Skyla's fine. I 
I don't understand the appeal of the design. It's not bad though. I'm just surprised it's like as famous as it is. Famous is strong. I'm surprised it's as popular as it is. No, don't step on me. Jesus. We got a whole ass Cyclops here too. Just having some fun. Don't step on me. The ones on the bottom of the foot are a pain in the ass to hit. There we go. Yeah, fall over, asshole. We're hitting the one that enrages him last. This is how I like to fight this guy. It's almost dead, too. That's funny. There he goes. Golems are one of the most fun enemies in the game to fight. Cynthia is great. Sabrina is great. Misty's great. A lot of the classic designs are great. Alright, let's try Ricochet Hunter and see... Whoa! Wrong one. See what kind of damage we get. We'll stun him, probably. Oh, area's too open. Oh, he died. My guy was almost dead. My pawns basically soloed that thing. I was looking for Evan Blade pieces for so long. I was like doing a really weird little circuit to find more of them. And I think I found like 12 in this room. You know, oh, that's the streamer, right? I think probably the single funniest thing about that, I didn't notice this during the fight, but someone pointed out to me and I double checked on uh, YouTube, is that right before you start the fight, someone donates 5,000 Poké Dollars to her. And then when you beat her in the trainer battle, you get like somewhere around that much. There's something really hysterical about that, Timmy. Like, the reward for killing her. Ooh, I'm over-encumbered. It's like the same as... Uh, she just makes being a dumbass on the internet. She probably loses a trainer battle, like, once a month. And she probably fucking gets donations like that daily. All my friends are into um, VTubers, and I don't have the heart to tell them that I think VTubers are cringe. What is this? Short bow of some variety. Cute and wholesome. Every time I've ever seen a VTuber clip, it's been something that's not that funny. And I feel like it's probably a lot more funny if you're just horny. But I don't know that. Rusted daggers. Don't know where they came from. Like there's one that I remember my friend showing me that's like one of the one of the VTubers showing the other telling the other VTuber how to say a rude word in another language and then he just says it like fifty times and she's like panicking. And it's just like wow that's I don't know. That's so baseline. Nothing inherently that funny about it. I feel like it's just I feel like when you interest if you're already interested in something, it's just enhanced so much. Um how do I put this?
Game Goblins. I will never do that, but I accept it all the same. This guy's tall. I don't know how to put it, so I just won't even say it. I got new skills. Let's see what we got. Explosive Ribbit. Fuck it, why not? Fuck it, why not? We got Regeneration. Slowly Return. Oh, there's one that makes it so any attack that would kill you leaves you with 1 HP. You can put that on with this as well. It's kind of funny. Allure. Affinity when you have items to non-pawns. <sighs> That's so bad based on the way they designed the rest of the game. Backfire. Oh, Magic Rebalancer. So rank 9 is where I get the upgrade for Backfire, which is, I think, Immolation. Or maybe Immolation's the secret third one. It felt very fake to me. To me, one of the big appeals is to a streamer is being able to, like... I don't know, go in and relate to them. I've always liked small streamers a lot more. Where it's just like, you know, between 1 and 10 people in the chat and they're just fucking playing some game you know. I do that all the time on Twitch. I just head into the, a random tiny stream and I just chat. And when you're in a stream with like, you know, a thousand people plus, I feel like the appeal of talking to the streamer is just non-existent. Especially when the chat's like, when it's like a ton of people in the chat, it's just in, unintelligible. Most huge personality streamers I don't like at all. I've seen random people do like VTuber stuff and that doesn't bother me. And I've gone into those kinds of streams and said hi and had conversation. That's fine. It's, it's A-OK. -okay. If you want to have like a virtual avatar instead of a real webcam, honestly, I kind of probably prefer that. But all the hollow live ones that are super like big. So now I have Magical Rebalancer. We can see why it's actually good. It boosts magic. So it's got an offensive buff now instead of just the defensive one. It's like the same as using a, a Mage's Periapt, but you can do it um, four times. Just like that. That's what I feel. That's why I feel like it's... I don't know. I think I said it was cringe, which is... I mean, I do think it's a little bit cringe, but the reason I think it's cringe is that it kind of feels... It just feels parasocial. But it feels like the invisible kind of parasocial. I don't know why I'm sleeping this much. Probably the worm has already respawned. I feel like it's got simp appeal more than anything. I feel like the reason something like that would be more appealing to you than like other streamers is just simping. That's my guess. I don't know. I just it's, All I know is that it doesn't appeal to me and I'm trying to figure out why not. Bless. You actually can't pause on the screen? No, you can. What's next on my little list? Oh, there's 16 floors. Fate is the next one. It's on the bottom. Simping is a billion dollar industry, but it's a billion dollar industry I have no interest in. What's this one? Is this Fate? Yeah. In we go. What horrible thing awaits me? There can be either Gork, Mera, Chimera, and a Lich, which sounds annoying but not too bad. Or a Drake and a bunch of Harpies, which sounds not too bad. So I should be able to kill whatever's in here, haha. -ha. Looks like we got the uh, Lich and two Chimeras.
Oh, he's still got a ton of HP. Oh, that's a Hellhound. Hellhound should actually be fairly easy for me to kill, haha. That's doing zero! Hello. Get out of my way. I'm trying to shoot the Lich. I think the Lich can revive dead enemies, so... It's kind of priority number one. And my yellow pawn keeps dying. Hellhound should just get owned by that skill, I think. There we go. Well. Missed him. Alright, so which one's the low HP one? It's that one. Ooh. I'm on fire. And I'm dead. Should have immolated. What the fuck just happened? Oh, this the goat's dead, I think. He's doing fuck all damage. Let's get him with some um magic. Oh my god, leave me alone. God, when they're- it's solo lion, it's so scary. There we go. And level up for my troubles. I meant to do that. How did I not roll? I wasn't meshing it that hard. Alright, well there go my rewards for one of them. I already know what I have to do and it's ugly. I have to backfire. Alright. Now we enjoy our passive damage from being on fire. Cling to him. Holy shit. There we go. Yeah. Game couldn't even figure out how fast he was getting owned. I guess I should put myself out. Chamber of Fate, huh? On the top, we've got Estrangement. Whoa, I took the wrong way out. I'm not even out. I'm in deeper. Broke the harpy to pieces. Well, in deeper is not a problem or anything. Looks like we got more harpies, sucky by. Where are they? Gamer water. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ricochet him. No enemy has ever been as owned as that one was. Come on in, the water's fine. Oh, 
a similarly owned enemy. That skill, they didn't think about that skill when they designed Bitter Black. Because that skill, like, everything in Bitter Black is a narrow hallway. So that skill just owns everything in the entire fucking DLC. That skill just carries you straight to Diamond. I actually feel like I'm strong enough for Bitter Black hard mode. So maybe we will farm some cool stuff. Oh, that's the one I hit earlier. Or is it? These are regular harpies. They only gave 400 EXP. Oh yeah, that one doesn't feel so regular. Damn, they went. Yeah, there's a tough one down there. Well, it found me. I killed it. Oh, it's 8 p.m. already. Fuck, man. Bats? Harpies are already bats. So we're 10 floors deep now. This is the 9th, but I've already done the 10th. We 16 floor um, area. Chilling razors. Wow, I paid good money for those. Now I just find some. Direwolf Veil. Is that an equip? Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. Tempting. Alright, who wants some? I know you're in here. I know I'm not done. Bats. The bats can have some. That was a lot of bats. I think I'm going to say fuck it for the day. And uh, chat with my friends online. And then tomorrow I'll do Bitter Black or something. I got good progress in exploring the Everfall. And I have what I believe to be a very good number. Red and red-blue. No fighter, but... Warrior and Mystic Knight is super strange. We almost capped this job. It's tempting to stay on it till I get it. Gravedigger, defeat a lich. Well, would have been nice. The Chamber of Woe always has a Lich in it, so I guess I'll just do this right now. Should be pretty easy. Let's sleep at the end too, just because it's gonna, um... Heal my... heal the guy. I've gotta replace my pawns too. I could just put away this armor forever. It's only dark because I uh, I'm in the post game. All right, it's the second one after the Ur Dragon entrance on the bottom. So there's the Ur Dragon entrance right there. So this should be the Chamber of Woe. Whoa. Yeah. Let's explore the whole little edge. Anarchy to just rent random pawns that are walking around. Did 
There's a lich. Or maybe a white, I don't know. That didn't do very much damage. I was doing the long stretch of the room, though. Let's do it this way. I think the first hit should be on him. Oh, he summoned some stuff. Oh, they're, they're the knights. Those guys are pretty scary. There's a lot of them by Jove. That's redirecting attacks off of the Lich. Oh yeah, I love a good dragon smile. No, Homewrecker! Stop being turned to stone. Alright, he used it. Those enemies are pretty scary. They basically just move and attack like fighters. 4,300 experience. Fell Lord's Bone. I guess that guy might be known as a Fell Lord. Oh, I got my last rank. Just like that. Now I can retire this armor. So I finished the quest, I explored a new room, and I got the last uh, rank for my class. Good shit. I skipped uh, the Chamber of Estrangement. That's the one that can have a Metal Golem in it, and a Metal Golem will be basically impossible for me to fight if I'm not yellow. Alright, we will replace my pawns. Grab my final skill. Which is immolation. Ahoy hoy, you picked a bad time to show up, I'm about to leave. I have no free time these days, it's frustrating. If I go to sleep right this second, I will get nine hours sleep. A little bit less, actually. Eight and a half. And, uh, spoiler, I'm not going to sleep right now. I'm not even going to sleep soon. That's not even a good weapon. That's not right. I am rank 9, right? Yeah, we've capped it. We've done it. Every single job rank 9. Most of the time I haven't done that even by uh, level 200. But this time I kind of put some effort into it and I've got it pretty quickly. Immolation. Yo, with an E. High perdition. The rank 9 skill is usually pretty interesting. Great ward arrow. Great bracer arrow. And sacrificial bolt. I love how this is the ultimate skill of the class. I can't imagine ever using this. I can put it on right now just to fucking kill my pawns. Whew. And all the skills of a single vocation. That's a that's an achievement I don't remember ever getting. It takes forever to do that with sorcerer. This is perfect. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. I'd rather have Levin than Brontide. I'd rather have Frigger than Frazzle. Comestion and Angle are interchangeable. I mean, they're completely different, but I'd like them both. Interesting that this class doesn't get the boons. That would work nicely with my fucking bow. So let's hop on online mode. And we will replace.
replace the pawns I have with better ones. I swear to god if I can't find a good mage pawn I'm gonna flip. And then I'm probably done. And then next time we'll do bitter black and we'll just fucking kill it and it'll be a blast and it'll be fun and all of it and I'll have a good time. You're actually very good. I will give you a cool small fish. And I will give you all fives, even though I don't have to or anything. Photobombed by a naked woman. I'll hit him with a hello. You were pretty good, too. This bomb was really hilarious. It was made by someone who knows the game really well. You can have some green warish. It's a fighter pawn with only uh, shield summon and dragon's maw and no other skills. That's the definition of precision support. Those are the two things you want a fighter to be able to do is divert enemies away from you and dragon's maw and everything else fighter does is a diversion from those two things. By not having any other skills equipped you force the fighter to only do that. And he had decent equipment too. He was really just a pawn made by someone who really knew like how to make a good pawn. That guy probably gets rented a lot. Uh, we want something very similar, but I'm not going to, like, you know, I'm not going to go crazy looking for just a white. What's symbol onslaught? That's not it, is it? It's not the shield drum. That's good, though. That's a good pawn. I want shield drum. Shield drum and dragon small. I'm just going to and any one that has both. I need to make sure it doesn't have springboard, too. And then I'm just going to grab the one that has the highest attack stat. Now this is how you do it. Okay, Sorcia. With a whopping, ooh, leet. Very high damage. Carnation with three enhancement. It's pretty nice, can't lie. Okay, that's going to be hard to beat. Hold off on that one. Uh, a little bit lower, but we have magic as well. Let's ask along. This one's probably going to end up doing more damage overall. By the skills. Where's that live? It's here somewhere. There it is. Ah, that's better, yeah. Alright, so Saber's the one to beat. That's horrible. Ew, he's tiny. Yeah, I think Saber's the way. Every pawn I meet in the overworld can be cycling pawns pretty quick. Alright, by god, by level 107, the people understand how to make a mage pawn. Let's find out. I don't like Ice Affinity. That's pretty good apart from that. This one has no attacks. Just give me some attacks, okay? I want you to be able to attack, too. These skills are good, but, like... I can live without Spell Screen. I can live without Bleering. They're not that good. Even Halodome I can live without, although that one's kind of nice. I really like Grapnel. I can't believe Grapnel's as unpopular as it is among players. I think it's so good. I just find it really strange that no one puts it on. Levin Frigger, Anodyne, Grapnel, Holy Affinity, Halidom. That's very good. We're missing an attack. Or not attack. We're missing fire, which is the best element. But everything else is very strong. People who stack affinities are just stupid. This one's good. No Grapnel, but it's good. If, if Halidom was Grapple, then Grapnel, this would be an ultimate pawn for me. 
This one's just super good. Grand Anodyne. Dark Affinity kills this one. So close. I'd rather have a nice spell. They're like good pawns here though. This one's not very good at all. Alright, the pawn I found seems to be the best one. Please, please, please have halfway decent equips. I should also change Azzy to something else. What is this horrible creature? That's very good magic, actually. That's a good staff, but not upgraded. What's really helpful for a pawn? In um, bitter black, defeat a wyvern, unknown location. This is probably the one on top of uh, the what's the name of that tower? Blue moon. It's the one that speaks fucking Italian or whatever. Um. I'd like my pawn to be something where I've got maybe a sorcerer. Magic archer, mage, sorcerer, fighter? That's a goofy sounding team. What will that hurt me against? Yellow makes the most sense. And she's already a ranger. Have I... I feel like I've been neglecting. Very low discipline, considering I barely bought anything. I think I've now bought every single augment for the pawn. Don't quote me on that. That seems kind of good for a pawn. Yeah. There's the one, the heat seeking. Not that many dagger skills on Ranger. I forgot about that. Ranger's a weird job, it's not very interesting. I guess I should get Toss and Triggers upgrade since I'm wearing it. Yes, 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 sure, yes, yes. Those all seem good. Uh, I guess we'll just learn Toss and Trigger. Why not? And then I also want to change my equips because I no longer need that armor. Alright, so I do have one more thing I want to do, which is Dragonforge my magic bow. It's tier 2. What are the odds of Dragonforging it? If it's tier 2, 6%. That's regrettably low. The worm should die pretty fast if I immolate as soon as I fight it and then just cling to it. It should die in like seconds. But that's on average like 18 fights, which is going to take a while. I'd be better off just going and getting it dragonforged by the cursed dragon since I'm going to fight a few of those. I'll see how fast it is to fight the um, ricochet hunt. 
Damn, that wolf got launched. Damn, those enemies got a little bit lit up. It's a very not good time to shoot the ricochet arrow. And yet I managed to kill some things. Behind the wall, probably. Alright. These glacial re retrixes are impossible to find. Me tumbling. Alright, game should save right here automatically. I think, yeah. Alright, we run up, we emulate, we grab him. Emulate casts really fast, which I appreciate. Bro, how are you alive? Don't cast Levin, dude. No, don't let that be Levin. I knew. I was like, oh, that is so Levin. This one is too. I was hoping I could just kill this guy like nothing. I mean, it's fast, but... I would like it to be faster. I got leavened again. We've got level ups. We're going to have to go through every single time. That's frustrating. Oh, we got Denim Hosen. Did I just find two Worms Tears? What's going on? There's one. And yeah, there's another. That's rare to find one. That's like a 5% drop. Ah, uh, the Dragon Forge was nice, and leveling up during the fight is going to make it a lot slower. I'll farm this next time. I'm misbraining too much daylight. I'm going to sleep seven times and then... No, I'm still online mode. No one's rented my pawn yet. You really have to, like have a IRL friend when you play this game and rent each other's pawns because you'll get an ass ton of rift crystals doing that and these days playing this game you won't get any other random people renting your pawns because not enough people are playing the game and there's too many players who are just idle forever never returning to the game who are getting their pawns rented that's three at five. Checkpoint saves and regular saves are different. I love how you can save the game two different ways at the same time. I love how the, the non-checkpoint save is all faster than the checkpoint save. Alright, I'm going to bed. Wait, I'm going to talk to my friends and I'm going to bed. Bye, everyone.